so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. The Dragons making that final walk that separates man and warrior. Soon to be in battle there in the ring. Gonzalez is making his way to the ring right now. And he's doing so with a very business-like approach to things. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Remember, 15 rounds scheduled here in this much anticipated fight and we are underway with round number one. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of entice the taller fighter to come in and be short. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Gonzalez. Frustrating his opponent. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Wow, this should be fun to see right here. He hurt him. This is like a cat and a mouse game right now. He's just bullying him, pushing him around. Yeah, the cat, I've seen this cat and mouse game before. The cat was named George Foreman. The mouse, Joe Frazier. He was pushing him back, parrying him back, where he could finally get him where he wanted him. Missed the body shot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. The Dragon's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Protecting his head well with his guard. You see him holding on. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Blocks that belt line well. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Now he ties up there. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing. Both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forwards. Ten clicks of the talk. The Dragon's showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. End of this round, Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Custom Auto, the great trainer. And he said to you, 
What's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cuz? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck, I'll tell you that much, because Cuz didn't believe in paying you for that. He said, you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cuz believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say, I'm being overworked. But I think, seriously, that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. You have to understand that a fighter's really always That's under it. fear. And you have to understand those dimensions, those parameters. And you have to be able to find a way to get in there, understanding how he feels mentally, and understanding how that can impair his judgment, stop him from doing simple physical things. Very nice defensive guard there. Come on, kid, focus. Gonzalez is showing us that his legs may not be completely underneath him the way he wants them to be after being stunned earlier. He's really hanging on in there. He's tying up a lot. Yeah, but he's being allowed to. I have to say that right now as a trainer, that he's allowed to do that. His opponent should not cooperate with him. He should take a little step back and make sure he takes advantage. Don't let him tie up. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Halfway through this round here. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance, stay effective. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. He did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. rid of that body shot. Get Ten shot. seconds Get remaining shot. in this round. He just missed that shot up top. And we come to the end of the round. Gonzalez is missing punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And wide punches, guess what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. to say just, just 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 keep it up just keep it up that's it now all right it's, it's a nice work and round number three is underway <laughs> unable to score with the uppercut that time And he ties up on the inside. A solid true uppercut by the Dragon. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the Dragon. Gonzalez is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. He 
tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He missed with that headshot. The Dragon's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace minutes ago in this round, and they have been all out? I know how I feel, Joe, myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Not much action as he just ties up. well upstairs with the right hand. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Body. 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 Nice work blocking that and then an uppercut of his own. One, two. One, two. Ten seconds to go in this round. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. Jab your way, okay? Whatever you do, throw that jab. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? You slip his punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Nice work on the inside. Good job. Keep that up. Three rounds in the books. The Dragons in control. Teddy, he's up with a clean sweep on your scorecard. Yeah, and I like the way he's doing it. You know, he's making the guy come to him. He's making a miss, and he's scoring all the clean punches. He's working the jab. Good, good. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Forward, forward. Chico's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches. Big, big shot there. Gonzalez is on the canvas and hurt. He gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Parries the punch, puts one in there. <laughs> Gonzalez's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Good block there by Chico. Now he says, right back with the left hand. Halfway through round number four, not able to land the headshot. Chico's work rate is impressive, it, Teddy, like but his connect percentage is not. No, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving, he's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten them up a little. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Relax, relax. Keep working the body.
to go in the fourth. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count it. You know where you need to be. I don't want to see you on the outside with him, okay? This fight is not in the... Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. There you go. Gonzalez has got to find a way to survive and maybe even do more than that. He was knocked down in the last round. And here, you know, all eyes are on his status here to start this round. Well, Joe, don't put too much on his plate in this kind of situation. Right now, surviving would be enough. He can worry about winning later on. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Good exchange, scoring well with the right hands. The Dragon's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just what it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. That was a miss by Chico. Halfway into round number five here. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Punch the right hand landed. Oh! He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. fight. Chico's unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. The Dragons, your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.